2018 Nobel Prize in Chemistry Boost Medical Field 2018 Nobel Prize in Chemistry is shared by Francis A. Arnold and the other half jointly to George P. Smith and Sir Gregory P. Winter. This is for their work on the power of evolution, to design new proteins from living organisms that eventually led to the development of newer drugs and medical treatment of psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, and inflammatory bowel disease. In announcing the award, on 3 October, the Royal Swedish Academy said that this year's prize awards a revolution based on evolution, and goes to scientists who apply the principles of Darwin in the test tube. The methods developed by the laureates have been put to work to create new enzymes and antibodies used in promoting a greener chemicals industry, mitigating disease and saving lives. This year's chemistry laureates have taken control of evolution and used the same principles, genetic change and selection, to develop proteins that solve humankind's chemical problems. Francis Arnold, 62 years, at the California Institute of Technology, the fifth woman ever to receive the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. George Smith, 77 years, at the University of Missouri Columbia. Sir Gregory P. Winter, born in 1951 in Leicester, UK. Research Leader Emeritus, MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology, Cambridge, in the United Kingdom. Humans have been manipulating with other species from the dawn civilization, by domesticating dogs to breeding more productive crops. The 2018 Nobel Chemistry laureates figured out, how to use those same principles of selectively reproducing desired traits to make specific molecules, namely enzymes and antibodies. Arnold tackled enzymes, which are proteins that serve as catalysts speeding up chemical reactions without being used up in the process. In nature, enzymes do things like break apart long starch chains into sugars, assemble proteins, or transcribe DNA. If one wants an enzyme to do something slightly different, say turn a starchy plant like corn into a clean burning biofuel, requires a biological machinery from a bacterium or fungus with a technique known as directed evolution to break down the corn in a new way. Directed evolution is an iterative process scientists use to design biological molecules like enzymes. It requires inducing some randomness in the target enzyme within an organism like bacteria. The resulting mutated bacteria are screened to see which ones perform the intended function the best. The winners are then cultured, and from their offspring, the best are selected, and again cultured, and so on. Essentially, it's the same selective breeding process humans have used for thousands of years to develop better crops, just accelerated in the lab. In 1993, Arnold reported that she used this technique to produce an enzyme that could still work well even when treated with a chemical that would otherwise drastically weaken the natural enzyme. Arnold's methods are now used to produce pharmaceuticals, specialty chemicals, and enzymes for biofuels. Smith and Winter worked with a technique called fish display. It's a process where a virus is used to infect bacteria, known as a bacteriophage, to generate new proteins. In a series of papers in the 1980s, Smith figured out that the bacteriophage displays certain proteins on its surface making it easier to screen variants. He also found that he could alter those surface proteins and make copies of a desired molecule. Winter then coupled the fidge display technique with directed evolution to produce new antibodies for the immune system to identify threats and reported his results in 1990. In 2002, the first therapy using evolved antibodies was approved and is now used to treat psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, and inflammatory bowel disease. The Nobel Committee noted in its announcement that these techniques are still new and not yet reached their full potential to fight against disease or create new fuels. The committee wrote, We are in the early days of directed evolution's revolution which, in many different ways, is bringing and will bring the greatest benefit to humankind. Thank you.